what is going on guys welcome back to train simulator 2019 today we're going to be on the stevens pass route it's a bnsf route based in uh, washington i believe and where we're going to be doing a scenario pa junction to delta yard deliver a string of center beam flat cars to delta yard we're going to be running the stevens pass gp38-2 in the heritage one bnsf paint scheme so let's go ahead and hop right into this all right, so we here we are in the scenario. We're running Venus F twenty two sixty four, Everett Dispatch to Lead Engine twenty six four. We're proceeding to the Bellingham subdivision after the passage of Light Engine twenty one oh seven twenty eighty one. I'm assuming it's just them right there. So we're gonna turn on our wipers. Um, brakes gonna be released. Turn on that cab light. So we'll keep the lights off until they pass. But we'll go ahead and turn the step lights on. Windscreen's on, beacon light will turn on. I think number board lights are back here. No, they are not. Alright, so there they are. Got headlights on. XBN locomotive. Looks like they'll be good over there. Nose headlight. It's weird seeing on a GP38 2. Looks like we got a diversion clear, or diversion approach. So I don't remember what number we are. Venus F 2264, got an aversion approach, PA. Had a weird horn on today's locomotive, that's all I'm gonna say. Beacon light doesn't really look like it works, it's just kinda like the light. We're gonna sand this thing out. What is this? Uh, PA Junction. Let's go ahead and turn that bell off. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be diverging onto this track right here and then we're going to take this cutoff out over here so we got diverging approach for that. Now I'm going to probably just keep slowing down because we're going to be coming up to a 15 here anyway in about 0.15 miles. So we'll just kind of keep it going so we're going to a 15. Throw that in idle right now. I'm actually not playing with a rail driver controller right now. I am... Just doing the basic controls on here. But as you can see here, we have a train of center beams. Looks like two, four, six, eight center beams and two engines. So it's just kind of like a center beam local type thing. Here we are switching to a 50 mile an hour zone. Um, knowing we're going downhill, I'm going to keep the dynamic brake on. Since we are on a point based system in this scenario. I don't want to be going over the speed limit just because I want to keep my points. So we're going to turn on the dynamic breakdown for this car, but it looks like we do have a BNSF full train over there. Pull that C-Line Junction for signals, follow the Vancouver full train out of Del TR. Sounds good, looks like that's the rear DPU right there. I'm going to go into full dynamic for this, it's such a short train. Hey, hell, even if we're going notch 7, it'll uh, speed up. We're going to have to keep it on notch 8 until we get around this curve. Venus F 2264, got all stop. Uh, C line junction. I'm going to wait until we get around this curve so we can actually see the signal and then we'll pull it to a stop. Right there. Come to a stop right here. A little bit shy of the signal. Bring that into uh, neutral. Kill that, and then we'll put the throttle or put the brake at about 14%. So it's not re completely released, but it's released. And basically, what we got to do is we're just gonna have to sit here and wait for the signal. Alright, so as you can see there, we have an approach. Venus F 2264, approach, C line junction. Coming off the inter coming off the interchange. Turn on that sander as well. Just to get some traction. Kill that uh bell. And we're still going downhill, so we'll be accelerating pretty fast. 
but this engine does go on a dynamic braking really fast too so you can see there very fast dynamic braking as well probably a lot faster than normal but we're coming up downhill uh, we're almost level won't be needing this for long Yeah, we'll still be needing it a little bit. Ooh, no, 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 I ain't speeding. I'm not speeding. I'm not speeding. Nope. Yeah, I think now we're coming back to, to a level stage. Yep. Kinda. Your gray crossing here. Kill that bell. So we're actually following that one coal train you guys saw a glimpse of um, when we were coming around that curve. You saw the rear DP unit in like the last couple coal cars. So we're actually going to be following that coal train to the yard. Which, if you look at here, it's going to be about. Uh, 2.4 miles which is about half hour scenario because we're going to have to come here so it'll be about 139 when we get there. And it's currently 127 so we're going to be going 15 miles an hour pretty much this entire trip. As you can see there we just kind of cleared that crossing. We got another one here. Kind of like an unoccupied crossing. that's a crossing we're coming up on another one as well alrighty sorry about that guys I went to go turn down the uh, game volume and the game decided to crash so we kind of had to restart the scenario a little bit but that's alright that's alright we're coming back up to that private crossing we were at before But like I was saying, we are going to be following that uh, coal train out to uh, Delta Yard, it looks like. So, that's going to be a fun time. We'll be following him all the way around town. We are a, probably one of the lowest of the low priorities. Since we are a local, so we don't get that how much high priority. Anyway, so we'll be the ones that are following red signals and the siding. All of that fun stuff. It looks like we're coming up to another crossing here. It's like actually the track curves. That's pretty cool. Let's make sure we don't go over our uh, speed limit here. But damn, look at that traffic jam we caused. Holy crap. Look at all that. Look at what we caused. Damn, that is a long jam. And then there's like no cars on this side. Which is kind of hilarious. That's that's honestly pretty fucking funny. Alright, let's see if I can get a like a legit signal here. Nothing. Alright, being a twenty two sixty four approach, signal, delta yard, eastbound, over. East. Well, not eastbound. We're probably going westbound, but we're just going to call it Delta Yard East. I don't know any mile poles or anything for that signal, so we'll just call it Delta Yard East, not the entrance. But uh, we do. Come, we're coming up short on the entrance. The only thing is, though, it's going to it says it's about a half hour scenario, so it looks like we might have to like do our own switches and stuff too. So. Oh shit, no no no, I don't want to be speeding, I don't want to be speeding, no, I don't want to be speeding. That just completely fucked us up, I wasn't paying attention. If this was a standard scenario, I wouldn't care. But it's not pointed, but that just fucked us over a little bit. And I wasn't paying attention, that was more my fault than anything. Oh well, but as you can see, we're right there, we are the MSSE EVE5. Whatever the hell that stands for. 
Yeah, there's Delta Yard entrance. Looks like we can see if we can see what the signal is. Not at all. Not at all. Well, maybe. No. Throttle back down to idle. About 15.5 miles per hour. 15.4. Nothing too shabby, but it looks like it's going to be a restricting into the yard. Which means no more than 15. It depends on the railroad. Sometimes it's 10, 15, 20 miles an hour. Um, I know on Canadian Nationals it's 10. For, yeah, for Canadian National I believe it's 10 mile an hour for a restricting signal. And you'll know it's a restricting, uh, it's actually a restricting proceed. That would be for CN as a restricting proceed. And a red over white would be a restricting. So I believe this is the actual restricting proceed signal. Uh, being a SF24 or 2264 westbound restricting proceed delta yard entrance eastbound over so yeah we're just going to call it a 15 mile an hour signal I'm not sure what the rules of BNSF are how they handle restricting so but it looks like we're actually going into the right track delta yard entrance east that is a weird looking dwarf signal though it's, just fu it's funny looking I think we're going to be heading to the left bound. Oh no, we're actually going straight. Yeah, we're... Oh no, and oh, where the track looked like it was pointing straight, but we're actually going left. Interesting. Interesting. We have a Y. So I'm not sure if that's uh, I don't. I don't think that's a whistle post. No, it is not a whistle post. Stop at Delta Yard, Class 3W. Okay, so uh, we're heading straight into it. So here's what the yard looks like. Got a couple cabooses here. It looks like some Burlington Northern cabooses, which are commonly not even used anymore, unless they need it for like a shoving platform for a local. But it looks like we're actually going to be heading this way. Move your train to the west end of class classification track three. Hold point. Wait for the instructions out. Roger that. So we're going to be, looks like we're actually taking a right, and then going straight. Right? Yeah, straight. We got some locomotives out over there, it looks like, as well. Interesting. Oh, the game stuttered. Just, ooh, it froze. Okay, there we go. I don't know what the hell happened. It just kind of froze for a second. I've never actually had this game like stutter or freeze before. That's kind of odd. Let's take a look at the conductor side. We have a better uh, vantage point through here, but... Look at that. We got a caboose. Two cabooses. Cab cabise? Is that what you call it? Call them plural? Two cabise? I don't know. They're actually brought to northern, which is nice. They haven't been like any BNSF paint or anything. I guess we got some maintainer uh, trucks. Those are some weird bumpers. Maintainer trucks. Probably looks like cruise vehicles. Looks like an Impala. Two Impalas. Uh, Honda and a Ford Escape. Yeah. There's an intermodal train. We did not follow. There's another intermodal train. So we got some SD40-2 locomotives over there, some more GP38s. We got some GVOs as well, it looks like. So nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're coming up on class three E3. Um, I'm gonna make sure the train gets past the switch. So Enter mode. I'm gonna make sure the whole train gets past that a uh, switch before we uh, stop. Yeah, this is a classification yard for sure. Good lord. We're almost there. About two cars left to go. Just one more car, and I think we'll be good here.
Yeah, we're good here. Oh, W. Okay. I'm stupid. So keep going. I'm stupid. So we're actually are heading westbound then. I'm stupid. I was expecting here. I forgot that he said go all the way to the other end of the yard. Oh, I thought those were SD40s with their GP38-2s. Never mind. Yeah, I don't wonder where these center beam cars are going to go. Or what train they're going to head on. Gotta wonder. Gotta wonder. Man, it's a full yard today. Good lord. Unless it's how this, not yard, ugh, how this yard usually is. Never done this scenario before, so I really couldn't tell you. I'm gonna put my throttle at idle right now. Yeah, okay, there's the hold point. That's what I was looking for. I, I knew I was in the wrong thing. So I guarantee you it's going to be a stop signal, judging by the restricting we had the last signal. 230,000 pound locomotive. I don't even see a signal, so I don't. I couldn't tell you what the signal would be. Yeah, I don't see a signal whatsoever. No. Unless it's hiding behind these hoppers, but I don't see why it would be. Yeah, no. No signal. Huh. Looks like there's a uh, moving freight train right there. But that signal's coming up in... 0.9 miles, so we're going to start slowing down here. Oh, he's actually going on one of the first yard tracks, so we don't have to worry about him. Put that in, ugh, in idle right now. I love the extended... Uh, windows that this locomotive has. Usually you'll have them like square in with the locomotive, but these actually have extended windows on the driver's side. Hold here till we receive permission to move from the yard master. Okay, so do you want us to drop off the uh do they want us to go to four W? So I'm assuming once this train clears we're going to move forward and back into this track, if we can. And look, there's no, two more GP38-2s on a, uh, must be a road train. That's interesting. They're at 6896, 6802. We're at 22, so they must be a different series. They look the same, but they must be like Santa Fe ones, and these are probably, uh, Burlington Northern ones? I don't know. I don't know. Could not tell you. Could not tell you. Yard mass to 26.4. Clear to deliver your cars to the west end of classification 4. A couple of your engine and wait orders out. Okay, so I'm going to take a wild guess and say that someone... Yep. Okay, so it was the track next to me. Cool. I didn't mean to actually sound the horn, but might as well just do the two toots just in case. Um, we're gonna once we get next closer up to the switch, I'm gonna stop and we're gonna make sure that all switches are set correctly as well. We don't want a derailment because this is the track we're supposed to put the stuff. Oh, excuse me, this is the stuff that or the track that we're supposed to put our cars on. So. uh... Look at that Jeevo. I've never seen a Jeevo in the 22,000 
series before. That's odd. And I've never seen a 38 on a stack train either. Oh, that's funny. Looks like it is set correctly. Alright, so we kind of nailed the switch completely a little bit. That's alright, we kind of had to go out on the main line just a little bit. But not completely. So, I'm going to flip this thing around in the reverse. Back this puppy up. And we'll be the conductor on the shove platform. Watching the movement. We'll actually flip that back to uh, the main track. And then, uh, yeah. And watch the movement. And let's kind of control the train from here. Pretend like it's one of those, like, remote control locomotive type deals what I want to do is I want to get all the engines and stuff on the uh, track as well because he did say to await for other orders so we'll just wait so we'll just get the whole train on the track and then we'll await other orders and we'll see what else we can what other uh, things we're going to have to deal with in this scenario. Alright, so let's uncouple all, all of these cars. Not perfect, a little bit close. There we go. West Yard Reverse. Turn your engine to the storage area. First move to West Yard Reverse. Wait for clearance. Three enter the yard. Okay. So we did what we were supposed to do. So I'm assuming West Yard Reverse is where we were at. And then we just have to keep going west past the switch, past the signal, and then we're going to have to clear the signal. I'm assuming that's what we're going to do. I'm going to assume that's what we, what we have to do. So it looks like we don't even have to set our own switches, which is nice. Which is very, very nice. Yeah, that's what I figured. I'll start slowing down for it here. Or is this the trip point? So we're going to have to go past the Y sign, it looks like. That'd be a very confusing uh, interchange here. Yeah. So where are we even at? So we're at Delta Junction. 
All right. We are currently at Delta Junction. Waiting to get into Delta Yard. May return to the yard engine service area via the running track. Forest Roundhouse Road. Hold there for further orders. You will need to set a switch at the yard entrance out. Choose to change cabs. To do so, use key combination. Okay. Now nah, we'll just keep. We'll just shove. What? We'll just shove backwards. And we'll just kind of go switch it now. Switch this track probably. Yep. That's what I thought. And there's our train coming through. Running at a steady 14 miles an hour. There it goes. And it's probably going to have a stop at Roundhouse Road. Yep. Proceed ahead and stop at Roundhouse Road entrance for further clearance. <laughs> there it goes. They said we could switch cabs, so we'll just kind of do the movement from back here. Um, we're not going to mess with any controls or anything. I do need to turn the wipers on, though. So we're just going to pretend we're just controlling this from the actual cab. That the engineer's doing it. No, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. But we're just going to pretend like we're the conductor that's on the point of the shove. Watching the shove, so... I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to stop at Delta Yard Surf 2. That's what I thought. This is what I thought. Cub Greek Inc. Shell Shable. Muller. Intermode. 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 I've got a foreman over here, somebody over there, conductor, somebody. Oh, we're almost out of fuel. We're about 795 gallons left. That's definitely not good. You're almost out of fuel, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a good sign. <laughs> J line. It's supposed to be K line, I think. Stop just right at him. What's going on, partner? Looking at your watch that you don't have? Nice, nice, nice. I do that too sometimes. What you got for me? I know it's 149. You just checked your watch, man. See the service too where you leave your engines. Local bells required. Yard out. Alrighty, adios. Gonna have to do this stupid thing. Oh, oh, wrong way. Wrong way, wrong way. Here, apparently this is our lead local now. Which I wasn't expecting it to be, but I guess it is, so. Oh well. We're speeding again. I hate this game sometimes when it does that. I 
They had a GP38 DPU on the rear of that train. Okay, that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. Alright, we're coming to a stop here. We're supposed to. I'm going to turn off all this stuff. Put you in neutral. Set you. Turn off that. Turn off y'all. And turn off you. So all engines are now shut off. They're not going to be shut down just yet. They're just going to be shut off. For the time being. Or not shut off completely, but like shut down. Freight time for us as well as our engines. Hope that it's coffee for us and diesel for them and not the other way around. Oh, that's... that's yeah, I don't know if I want to taste diesel for a living. Alrighty. Well, that's going to go and do it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Look at all those times we were speeding. Holy shit. No, that's going to go and do it. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on social medias. Join that Discord server. All everything is down in the description below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you later. Peace.